Okay, good morning. It's Saturday, September 21st. It's Mary the Ambitious Gardener. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning and I came out to just do a quick update because I haven't done one in a while. Um, I think the last one I did was when the corn was still in this raised bed and um, it got really diseased and I had to pull it out. Um, a couple of weeks ago I bought couple of pallets of cauliflower and broccoli and um, I planted cauliflower in here that's cauliflower um, and then while the corn was in here I threw a couple of uh, spaghetti squash seeds in here a friend of mine told me that um, the the squash plants shade the corn roots and keep it cool but uh, you can see the corn's not in here anymore I have a feeling that squash plant might take over this bed um, I also put some pole beans in here and, and, and they're coming up um, I've had some issues uh, I don't know if it's caterpillar issues uh, some things eating the leaves I've already sprayed them a couple of times um, but they're growing and uh, this is my first time growing pole beans. I usually grow the bush variety and have been um, pretty lucky with that. Anyway, I had some extra cauliflower and broccoli plants. I just stuck them in a pot and, um, and we'll see what happens with that. Um, the garden here, uh, ever since I took the tomato plants out, these pepper plants have just started to really thrive. Um, getting a lot of sun and uh, just really producing the, the cow horns um, are just flowering and just popping out everywhere and uh, and I'm real happy about that um, also the habaneros uh, you can see there there's just a ton of them on there so uh, and these are all habanero plants right there um, and I have the red hot cherries which are still doing pretty good uh, in here, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I grew some different varieties of lettuce seeds, but nothing has come up. So this morning, I threw some more seeds in there and put a little dirt over it and watered it, and uh, and we'll see what happens. Um, I also planted some radishes and some spinach and some more lettuce over here, and out of everything I planted... Only those radishes came up, and that is spinach. So I planted some more seeds in here today, and we'll see what happens. Uh, basil plant still going strong, and uh, purple basil also going pretty strong. I need to harvest some of that and freeze it. Um, this is all broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli. Um, so far, looking pretty healthy. No sign of disease or bug damage um, on the broccoli. Now the cauliflower I put on this side. You can see there's something's been starting to munch on that. So I have to keep my eye on that. Um, I also put some sugar snap peas over there. We'll see what happens with that and those two squares in the back there. I tried them there last year and nothing happened. I was really disappointed. So... Um, these are some more, uh, pole beans, Kentucky Wonder, um, doing pretty well. Notice a little bit of some kind of fungus on there, cropping up there. I don't know what that is, and I did have some bug damage on these too. And I have sprayed it and pulled off whatever damaged leaves there were. Um, and those are some more, those are some more, uh, pole beans over there. And they're doing, they're doing fairly well. So, um, I still have some, uh, some parsley growing in there. And, uh, my wildflowers are about, my wildflowers are about spent. They look like weeds. And, um, over there in that pot, that's where my, um, Roma, uh, tomato plant was. And I pulled that out and I threw some some uh, pole bean seeds in there and it's growing so uh yeah um carrots 
I had a bunch of carrots coming up in this pot. A couple of days I worked late, didn't get home in time to water, and they shriveled up and died. Um, this is pretty funny over here. <laughs> I planted these eggplant seeds early in the season. I mean early in the season. And they just didn't grow. Just didn't do anything. All of a sudden they started bolting up. And I noticed this morning, I don't know if that's the sign of an eggplant down there or another leaf. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> they're growing. So, you know, never give up. Never give up. Um, over here, put some shallot bulbs in there. Don't know what the issue is with that. They never came up. They just shriveled up and died. And I really want to grow some shallots. I had fun growing the red onions last year um, and had some pretty good luck, but uh, nothing. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. But I'm not going to give up. I'd really like to try to grow some onions and some potatoes. Um, so maybe next year. Still have a lot of basil. I really need to harvest it, pull it up and freeze it. Um, it's my stag horn that I rescued. It's actually got some nice new growth on it. Um, and I'm going to definitely baby it in the winter because I don't think it likes the cold weather. So, um, So that's really it for now. Got a little cleanup to do around here, and I might spray some insecticide, insecticidal soap on some stuff to see if I can nip the little bit of um, bacteria that looks like it's on some of that, some of those uh, uh, pole beans, and uh, and do a little bit of cleanup. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching, and I'll check in next time. Have a good weekend.